all have an opportunity today to dramatically change the future. And my hope is that when you leave this room, you take along an old friend, music, to help you on your heroic quest. Because a good meal can feed a man for a day, but a great song, I mean like a great piece of music, can inspire a million souls for a lifetime. Do you ever wonder why birds sing in the morning? Well, inventor Dan Carlson says that birds sing to help plants grow. Imagine that. Dr. Carlson tested the effect of several kinds of sound on, to stimulate plant growth, and he discovered that his best results came from playing sounds similar to the singing of a chorus of birds. Imagine that. Could the cycle of life be dependent upon birds singing? Apparently, the leaves of plants have sensitive cells called stomata, which open up to take in nutrients and moisture, especially rich in the cool morning dew. So we might say that the birds sing at dawn, like a kind of musical alarm clock, to give the plants a healthier breakfast and a more productive day. If music has this effect on plants, imagine the impact it has on the cells of our own bodies. Like those plants, each one of you is vibrating at the cellular level. And the quality of those vibrations and the complex systems that they control your emotions, your thoughts, and even your physical well-being can be completely affected and shaped by music. Listening to music with your full attention can improve concentration and stimulate creativity and increase your capacity for learning other subjects like language, science, and math. Playing music, well that's like a mega vitamin because playing music activates more areas of the human brain than any other known activity. And music can help you remember. How many of you remember that ABC song you learned as a kid? Well, adding melody to that string of otherwise 26 completely unrelated characters helped you memorize it more easily and retain that memory for a lifetime. Music literally changes the narration in our mind and redefines how we see the world. And for children, it can help them define how they see themselves and how they can fit into the world around them. With such an undeniably powerful and abundant resource at our fingertips, why aren't we using music at the core of education? There is no M in STEM without music. And even Plato says, I would teach children music, physics, and philosophy. But most importantly, music. For in the keys of music and all the arts, are the keys of learning. I guess he didn't say it quite like I did. <laughs> Music unlocks the door to the inner world of our own imagination. And that's the heart of creativity. Educator Ray Pika writes that when children can imagine, they can envision solutions to problems. And they can imagine what it's like to be someone or something else, which creates empathy. And they can find the answer to the big old question, what if? So they can plan full and satisfying futures. And isn't that what we want for them? Creativity is not just the domain of artists. It's one of the most essential skills we can give our children to help them solve complex problems and to adapt to unforeseen change. And a child's creative development can be directly correlated to their future success in all kinds of careers, including medicine, science, and even technology. Einstein, arguably one of the most creative geniuses of the past century, often attributed his own instinct and scientific intuition to music. For many, music is critical to their very survival. You have seen this in this amazing Defiant Requiem. I mean, what an incredible film, portraying the Holocaust uh, survivors in that symphony that kept them sane in hell. I can testify to this in my own turbulent teenage years growing up in Detroit, where if it weren't for music, I wouldn't be standing here with you today. With all the evidence of the impact of music on learning and creativity, on the development of the human brain, and the vitality of the human spirit, it's a no-brainer to insist that music be a part of every child's education. But something is terribly wrong. Music is being removed from curriculums. Music therapy is looked at as almost novelty. And public funding for music-based arts programs is all but disappearing. Music has been a part of every civilization since the beginning of mankind, but somewhere along the way, society shifted from recognizing music as an integral part of our daily lives to valuing music through two principal and very narrow lenses. 
One is music, and the other is a completely devalued commodity. The long-term implications of this, to me, are horrifying. Until we shift the underlying values and perceptions around the role and benefits of music and society, it will be impossible to reverse the steady decline for the support for music in our schools. Well, we're going to do something about it here today. We're starting a movement to change the systemic misconceptions and resistance to teaching music into an enthusiastic swell of desire and outpouring of support from teachers, community leaders, parents, and visionaries like you. I call it Why Music. It's a campaign to help people understand and harness the incredible power of music so they can bring it back into the areas of society and their lives where they need it most. The Why Music campaign is designed to reach everyone through television, the internet, and social media campaign to give voice to millions through testimonials and personalized stories. But what's especially exciting to me in this, all this talk about technology is how we can now use the interactive technology through something I call YMI, not Why Me, but the Why Music Interactive eBook. I'm inviting each of you today to join the Why Music movement. Changing values and building awareness, it's a big challenge, we all know, but together we can do it. And I'm fully confident that you're up for the task. We have the knowledge, the tools, the channels to communicate our message in more engaging and entertaining ways than ever before in history. And you have the opportunity today to join us all, to share your resources and expertise, to make an impact on education and the future of society in an unprecedented and meaningful way. I look forward to working together and I thank you all for joining us today.